सो गाय दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग वीडियो बाय महेंद्र चंद्र कौशिक एंड ही देर इज़ अ वीडियो स्पेसिफिक वीडियो एट द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इट्स अबाउट हाउ ई टर्न टू लैक्स इन टू ट्वेंटी करोड़ एंड देर इन देर इन गोज ऑन टू टॉक अबाउट टेन स्टोरी ऑफ टेन सन्स ऑफ अ ब्लैंकेट फैक्ट्री ओनर और समथिंग इट्स अ प्रिटी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग फॉर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई बीन थिंकिंग ऑफ अ स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर विच इज वुड बी फुल प्रूफ स्टॉक मार्केट स्ट्रैटेजी स्पेशली इन इंडिया एंड आई लिव समथिंग द स्ट्रैटेजी दैट आई आई बीन थिंकिंग इज कैन अ सिमिलर टू वट ही सेंग माइन इज लिटल बिट मोर एडवांस वर्जन वट ही सेंग कैन वॉन्ट डिस्कस दैट विद यू आई वॉन्ट डिस्कस दैट विद यू एंड सी इफ यू कैन टेल मी वेदर आई एम राइट वेदर यू नो एंड वेदर टू वर्क His strategy is pretty simple. If he had two lakh rupees, whatever, let's say you start with a certain money, he starts with two lakh, two lakhs, and then he divides it. Basically, this. So what happens in that video is what. So he has like ten sons. He says, you know, divide it. Uh, so basically, put fifty lakhs aside, and and make chunks of fifteen thousand. or 10 chunks of 15000 which are like 10 sons so then he says that you find a certain uh, stock which is going to go up by 6% at least i'm sure in the next one or two months he he goes on to explain how to identify such stocks so that's very important that's a critical component that's one of the critical components right he doesn't talk about that it that much he does talk about it for 2 3 minutes but i think that's the most critical component but i think at the at the same time i believe that many people can identify a stock which will go up by at least 6% in the next one week one one month or so it may go down a little bit at first but then it will definitely go up by 6% or 7% or 10% there there is there is usually a way to you know identify You cannot identify that whether you hold it for long term, it will become double, triple, four, four times. But six percent rise in the next few days is is something that is quite predictable. So this is what he goes on to say, and I have also believed in that. So then he says that you use basically you use fifteen hundred, you know, this ten chunks, you know, and invest those in the state share market in those shares, which will go up by six percent for sure. And then use the let's say you know if they go up, sell them, then. Uh, Take three percent out for your own kharcha, for your own expense, and and uh, increase the amount by from fifteen thousand to three percent plus. Let's add it and then buy the shares of that value. And then when the increase, so the basically says there's a power of compounding in it. So when you make like he said certain number of trades, he has done the math for it. Your money will become twenty crores. And if out of those ten shares anyone goes down, then you have twenty five lakh to fifty lakh twenty five percent. Remember, you put twenty five percent aside. that money is there and you can use that money to uh bolster that share he also says don't put stop loss right he also says don't put don't put stop loss and he's also propagating he's also saying you know saying talking about the same principle that i have don't worry about stop loss don't, don't think about the stop loss well stop loss is important but even more important is stop gain you should you should stop gain you know you should exit the market basically So anyway, he, as you can see, he is exiting the market every few days, right? And then using the money, and then he is keeping the rest up back into the stock market, right? So he, so this, this in my mind, the strategy will work, and this six percent rise strategy and stop gain strategy will work. I don't know whether we should worry about the stop loss or not. So. Here are a few changes. Here are a few changes, interesting changes that I'll make, and that would be my strategy. This is exactly what I wanted to have, what I wanted to talk about for the last so many months as my investment strategy, and I want everybody to validate it whether this will work. People who know the things. So, in in my mind, uh, you use ten shares or three or four shares. That's kind of similar, no, similar thing. Although you can go with ten shares if you like. You take one crore. Right, and I just I, this number keeps on going in my mind. You get to one lakh, one crore, same thing, right? Because percentages matter. So, so but I will talk in terms of one crore. So you take one crore, and you put it in certain amount of shares. So you take basically one crore twenty-five lakhs. So twenty-five lakhs to bolster and one crore to play. I call it play money. So you use the play money 
you know, and play in the market with 10 shares or four shares. And then when they increase by 6%, you take the money out. Okay. You take the money out. In my mind, because I don't need to do expenses, keep the three, okay. keep the three percent shares of that, whatever you want. Let's say you bought Tata Motors. So you keep three percent Tata Motors or four percent Tata Motors. Take two percent out. Okay, take two percent out. So your play money stays the same. Your two percent, you know, you you take it out because in fifty trades you want to take your entire money back, right? This two percent, whether you want to take the money back or not, this can also be further fine-tuned. Then six percent, you can keep all the six percent. But I'm not I'm not believing in quant, quant compounding here. Now, why I leave the stocks is because there are certain stocks. There are certain stocks. See, there are certain see mark when, at any point of time, marketing can go up or go down. So when you have certain when you have stocks. If you keep, you know, if you so if you have stocks in the in the portfolio, then when the market goes up, you will get the benefit of it. Now, if the market goes down, obviously those stocks will come come down. The money that you the money that you made will reduce in value, right? The money that you right. So, If the stock market goes down, so I have two, three things there. Sensex was uh, Sensex or Nifty, those should go down to also. Let's say they go down by 10%, then don't bother. And the stock should also go down by 10 or 15% maximum. Then you know that that may go back. But if Sensex goes by, back down by 20%, then you increase the play money. So you see, from one crore, you make it two crores. When the store, so play money is a very interesting concept here. So if the market goes down by now, let's say 20%, you start playing with the play money. You choose the stable shares only, class A shares. In my mind, that's very important. Class A shares, which basically kind of follow the path of the BSC Sensex, but they are a little bit more fallen. That was my pattern. His pattern may be better, I'm not sure, but to identify the 6% stocks, you should go with the search. Like for example, in Sensex, there are 30 shares, right? 30, 32 shares. So which ones, the ones which are at a given point, which one, the, the ones which have fallen, Follow the most, the, the follow the most, or you know that those are the ones you should basically target. Because when the BSE sensex goes up, they'll definitely go up in some few days. Because let's think of the sensex as this: some shares are here, some shares are here, but they keep on changing positions. These shares will go up. So that th those are the which are at bottom. They are very good. They are very good chance. They'll give you six percent. But he has even better. He is more better understanding. So he's given different formula to identify those six percent stocks. So regardless of that. Uh, you I didn't, this is a basic assumption that you can find these 6% shares <laughs> so we'll, we'll keep challenging this assumption I'm not I'm going to take it for granted but anyway you basically increase your play money when the market goes down by 20% you increase it to 2 crore so again when the market goes down by 20% further 5% don't worry keep it 2 crores but when it goes down by let's say 30% you make it 3 crores when it goes down by let's say 40%, you make it four crores. But when it goes down by let's say 60% by any chance from the top, because you know that market will go up, go up. So you know the market will definitely go up one day, right? Now you go with the entire net cash value of your of your of your of, of yours and then wait for then put the money. Don't do too much play because market may go down, then just put the money in there. In different different shares and different portfolios and then and then so we can fine-tune this position also 60% position or 40% position also we can fine-tune this on 40% we can also fine-tune how much money to be invested how much money to be used for the play money and we can fine-tune that for 20% market down also we can fine-tune that for 30% market down also okay so you basically uh, and then so now in this whole thing when the market goes down, so the whole idea is, let's say, today market is at 80,000. Many of you must be believing, I wish the market was 30,000 again. That is 60% down from today's high. By the way, when I say 60%, 50%, this is from the last high. The last highest. Last highest. So la today, the market is highest right now. It's about 80,000, right? 82,000. So, calculate from there. That's what I mean. So, 
basically the thing is if the market will be again at 30,000 then what will I not do what will I not buy I'll buy TCS if it has gone on down by 7-8% I know that then I'll definitely 7-8 times so this some of these shares fall by like 10, 10, 10 times so I'll buy all those shares and I know that now Metro will definitely increase by 10, 10, 10 times if not in 2 years 3 years 4 years 5 years definitely 10 years or so This it will definitely go back to 80,000 again that's the basic assumption so if you want to challenge this sure but uh, this challenge assumption nobody can challenge because market has always gone down and then went up it's, it doesn't stay there forever it doesn't keep going down okay so remember this basic principle and never panic so when the market will go down by six weeks there will be a lot of reasons there may be a war going on there may be a world war going on there may be this going on that going on anything could be going on you should never worry and you should just stay invested very soon your money will become double there also there are two principles two possibilities you play you use it as play money and keep getting six percent or you basically keep invested okay now both the things are possible now further fine-tuning of the formula requires so basically first you understand the net cash value of yours I have given a value that your house net cash value for you is you know I do that net worth I did it for the net worth analysis so basically for the house so let's say you're you have a running income of let's say two hundred thousand dollars and your house will give you like 1 million and they're ready to give you 800,000 loan but if they're not ready to give you 800,000 loan against the property and they're ready to give you only 600,000 worth of loan then your net cash value is only 600,000 I, I hope you have got it that is a cash you can raise if they can give you a personal loan you should count that as a net cash value you can raise that cash if you have any investment property and if you can buy that and then that you should count as a net cash okay You should think of it towards their net cash. Okay, this one. Next ones. Uh, if you uh, if you can if you can if if you can sell your car, you think you can sell your car? That you can put it as a net cash value. Whatever savings you have, that is your net cash value. Let's say you have put money aside in a trust or a charity account or a you know that can be considered as. But then remember. You have to be able to invest in the form of from as as from the charity into the same market where you are investing. Similarly, if you are having a trust, then trust should be allowed to invest. Your IRA accounts can be considered your net cash value, but you have to remember that you have to have the DMAT account and then you have to have full control, and then you should be able to invest. Similarly, for your Roth accounts and your four hundred one k accounts, all those accounts, all that can be considered, but then you should be able to invest that four hundred one k. Right and in the same market, let's because I'm market. I'm, I'm talking about sense uh, Bombay Stock Exchange, right? So if I'm investing Bombay Stock, but can my 401k invest there? Answer is no. But using ADRs, it can. So you should explore that. So you, if you cannot, if you can, if you cannot do that, then 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 don't then don't count that as a net cash value. Same for your any uh, your your Roth also, and same for your any other account. So basically, keep your entire net cash value, and you know obviously your month on month money that you're making apart from your so there will be monthly installments for all these payments all these loans that you will take and then after uh, you know then uh, apart from that i know that i can raise some money loan against invoices also and i can raise a lot of money from credit cards also so all that can be considered net cash value okay so i hope you can see there are so many ways you can raise a lot of money and then you should use that all that money so some do the sum total of that money to, as on today and what you do is let's say it is 15 crores then you break it into pieces 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 right or 8 4 3 or 8 4 2 1 so do you, I don't know so this someone can help me uh, you know, fine tune this formula but basically at 60% you should go all in and at 40% you should go maybe you know 30 percent of yourself and and then remember one crore two crore three crore similarly one ten percent like one crore now and then maybe ten percent at the or two crore at the you know twenty percent level and then at thirty percent level maybe you know more and then more so you can but but basically all the net cash value has to be in when you are yeah and majority of it at sixty percent level okay so this formula has to be fine-tuned but I know that when the market keeps going down then you basically should be able to increase your play money and you should double it like really high so one two four eight would be a good number right at, tw at 20 maybe 35 right 20 
30, 40, 60, you know, 20, 30, you know, something like that. So you can turn maybe at 20%, maybe at 33%, and then at and then at like let's say 50%, and then at 66%, then then at 48%, 46%, and then at 60%, something like that. There are there are so when you when you see these numbers, then you can think of, then you can increase your stake, right? Make sure you are all in at this thing. So if you go by this this thing, you're increasing your play money, then you may. Now there should be an exit strategy also, right? This is what is missing in Mahesh, Mahesh, Mahesh Ji's. When the market will go down, if his, <laughs> he said that he made a mistake and he used leveraging to buy the shares, I'm sure one day he'll use the leveraging and he'll, he'll fall. Achha, no leveraging. No leveraging from the stock market people, like from the DMAT account people. No leveraging at all. When you are, remember uh, the net cash value that you can raise? It's all about your cash. Do not take any loan from the DMAT account people. Okay, this is very important. Do not do that. You know, this is it's a huge mistake. Sorry, I didn't say that, but that will be a huge mistake because if it goes up by six percent, then you will lose all the money. Market can go down and then go up. So then, so you should be immune to that. So you should be taking delivery of the shares only in DMAT account. Do not take any leveraging in the DMAT account because they make a margin call. Whereas your loan payment will not make a margin call. If you can keep making payments from your running income, then you're then you will be able to take. Then you are you're fine. You will be fine, right? You understand the difference? Please remember. If your if your shares you know reduce in value, then then they will make a margin call. You need to deposit money, so don't do that. Don't get into that trap. Definitely, huge, huge, huge thing. Very, 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 very big thing. Okay, don't make the, such a mistake. Now coming to our discussion, exit strategy. Exit strategy will look like this. Remember, we can take two percent out. So, if the if the market increases by let's say ten percent, you know, what you do is 